Hey everyone, so if you've updated to 21.9.1, if you didn't already know, they've fully integrated CPU and Ryzen Master support for, at least for the 5000 series in my own testing. Now, at first I didn't realize that this was an issue, but basically the 21.9.1 drivers can break Ryzen Master on your system. They break the installation so, they, so Ryzen Master won't run properly. And I figured that out because I'd installed these drivers and tested them, but I didn't have any entries. I only had GPU under the performance tuning tab. And what happened was I was, you know, testing out the drivers and then I closed the Radeon software. And when I went to launch Ryzen Master standalone by itself, it failed to launch. Like it had an error that it couldn't run um, something to do with my CPU or my configuration, incorrect configuration. I don't know, but it was broken. And the steps to fix it were to open um, programs and features. So depending on where it is, just go to start and type programs and find this section. And you can see here that I, I've installed the GPU drivers. This is the Radeon uh, AMD software today on the 14th. And then I realized my Ryzen Master was broken. So what I did was I uninstalled Ryzen Master. And if you didn't know, the chipset drivers are also important to get Ryzen Master working properly. And because they weren't running properly, I don't know if this step's necessary, but I uninstalled the chipset drivers too. And then I went into regit it because I, I've had issues with Ryzen Master not running properly before. And in HK local machine system control set 001 services, there's folders for Ryzen Master drivers. And the current drivers that seem to be working, it should be AMD Ryzen Master driver version 19. And if you have any other entries here after uninstalling Ryzen Master, just right click and delete these unnecessary entries. You might have two entries or it might be an older driver version. Just right click and delete it. And then make sure you've downloaded both the most recent chipset drivers for your motherboard and the most recent Ryzen Master uh, download available. And then reinstall the chipset drivers first. It might ask you to reboot and then reinstall Ryzen Master. So after deleting this thing in Regidit, so it's computer HP local machine. I'll, I'll put this uh, address in the comments below. And then, yeah, reinstall your chipset followed by Ryzen Master and reboot. And then the integration plus Ryzen Master should both be fixed. So after I did those steps, I was able to launch Ryzen Master both through my start menu. And I was also able to open my Radeon software. And these entries were not visible at first. When, when Ryzen Master was broken, I was able to bring these up. And I can see there's some um, CPU information. There's tuning information or options. Um, I think they're just shortcuts. And I can also launch Ryzen Master from within 21.9.1 performance tuning tab. So I just wanted to share that because I actually saw a couple posts pop, pop up on Reddit that their Ryzen Master broke. And I'm suspecting they probably updated their GPU drivers today as well. So yeah, I hope that helped some of you out. And thanks for watching.